let me drop some big Vegeta Blunt's knowledge on you here. So, do you know how Nano Percent works? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so you know he's like zero to forty is level one. Uh, this is on Popo's percent. Yeah. And then when Popo hits sixty or forty to sixty is level two, sixty-eight is level three, and so on. You don't have to do anything on the yeah. character select screen. Like Nana's DI like, literally gets better as she gets higher percent. Right? Exactly, and she becomes more aggressive. Like when she hits like level four, she starts to like do aerials, I think, or three or something. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure we saw like against Curve. Remember, so yesterday Curve yeah. was playing against Chudat. He broke his shield. Oh. And, oh, okay. And yeah. like Nana just started throwing out everything. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Like it like literally prevented Chudat or Curve from actually punishing the shield break. Oh yeah, Nana. When you got a broken shield, Nana just goes wild. Yeah. But anyway, we're not we're not talking about them. We're talking about yeah. these boys here. So far, S-Fat's doing pretty well. He got Nana taken out real fast, but uh, he's having a harder time actually taking the full-on stock here. There we go, though. Great job, o smash Yeah, just sort of like eked into some of the stage there and yeah. was able to take it. But uh, as we know, it's icy, so. Yeah, and I, I love yeah. what you just did there. Yeah. Like, two auto-cancel back airs. Okay, I'm going to go back into center. You're going to chase me. I'm going to grab you. I definitely think Icy's at center stage is super powerful just because, like, the Fox has to play around the platforms. He has to wait. Mm -hmm. Like, And honestly, Icy's, like... I've been told the best way to play against ICs is the way they usually play against you, which is they want to wait for like a mistake, a mess up, something like that. Mm -hmm. So if you wait for the ICs to make like a bad decision, then you can honestly just kill Nana off it. Yeah, that's for sure, because she still has a uh, CPU DI. And that should be a Nana kill. Or is he going to... Okay, yeah, there we go. Just leaves her alone, knows she's not going to make it back. Yeah, I think, I think the uncertainty around what Nana was doing actually made it harder to uh, get a proper punish on Popo. Yeah, for sure. And right here, like, ledge grab. Oh, okay, interesting. Shoe Dance is pretty tricky with his recovery. Just his Sopo in general is just, like, a virtuoso, you know? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, almost gets the up smash. Yeah, there we go. Does it three times in a row. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to keep repeating it. Honestly, <laughs> you know it's going to kill. You may as well go for it. He doesn't have a wobble. Worst he's going to get is, like, a smash attack on you and maybe yeah. a tech chase. Yeah, but that's honestly... <laughs> It can it can be pretty bad, especially against Chu. He's pretty solid with his tech chases. Yeah, I love I love what they're just doing there. Chu was hanging tight in, in yeah. center for a minute, so as soon as you went to the right, S yeah. was just like, well, I'm gonna put myself between you and center and see what you do. And Chu was just like, yeah, that's fine. And there we go. That's the running shine yeah. grab we saw S Fat practicing the shine a bit. Nana. This should be it though. Yeah, S Fat doing a great job just taking out Nana immediately. Oh, oh, nice. It's good follows on those. Yeah, there isn't really much like Popo can do in the air to get down against like Fox. It's yeah. super rough. I don't think I've seen Esfad a single time try to grab ledge as a part of his edge guards uh, against Popo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be a decent option because you also have the ability to set up like a down air. It's like if you have yeah. invincibility, you down air, you drag him below ledge, and then you just go. Yeah, but I feel like it's a lot easier just to like sit there, back or up smash. That's true too. Because it's not like like just he, like that. Yeah, it's not yeah. like he can like you punish Pope, landing lag. Yeah. yeah, it's not like Popo can grab ledge off of squall hammer. So correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I guess it's more more of a guaranteed yeah. or guaranteed setup of a punish um, when they do the squall hammer. Ooh. I like how Chudat does like the Forza where like he kind of like does his he does Popos and then Nana's is a little bit delayed. Mm -hmm. It just kind of like catches them if they try to jump out of shield. Yeah, and it's really tough too, it's like just to deal with that. All right, he's going for Nana right, right now. Nice shine. That's so good, honestly. Right. Like just jump in and Ooh. shine on ice climbers is yeah. really good. Yeah, if you watch a, if you watch a Fiction versus ICZ, he does that a lot. Yeah. Where like he'll sit on a platform, wait for them to be like under him. He'll just drop down. Yeah. Shine, separate them. Yep, exactly. Same thing forks with Falco too. Yeah. And if anything, it's a little bit more effective with Falco because you have a higher double jump. Yeah. You can get out of there more. Yeah. If you've ever watched. Oh. Um, yeah. If you ever watched like Squid versus ICC, he's super solid versus them. I believe that. Like, he does that a lot. I believe that for sure. Well, it's it's a tough break missing a wave line like that on the last stock, but yeah. you have to believe in it. You can't like not stop believing in your and your ledge dashes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he gets that. the grab immediately. Ooh, did not get the punish follow up though. Tries to read the full hop out of the corner though. What the heck? Did you see where Popo went from that forward <laughs> throw? Yeah, I think it was just the collision between him and Nana. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you hit shy guys on Yoshi's. Yeah, exactly. It's weird. Oh, up tilts. Yeah, just keep going for him. Those are the down throw. I don't down throw on Icy is like it could it was really good because I mean there was like three options that Chu could have picked that would have been absolutely awful for him but he yeah. chose the one good option which is fair yeah um and and S Fat tried to punish it but like I don't know Ice Climbers get a massive roll out of down throw yeah so it, it's you don't always have an ability to and truly definitely punish like it. it is pretty difficult to actually up throw up air them sometimes it is but yeah. honestly even if they're above you and you miss the up throw up air you can honestly just up throw or up air them anyway. 
And, and there's the wobble. And there it is. Yeah. You do have to be careful. When they're above you, you have to be careful mostly of, like, um, getting caught by down airs, really. Yeah. Like, down air on Ice Climbers. But up air can actually priority. be down air. It does. Okay. Yeah. Like, I played it against Army a lot, and I, I catch him so many times just with, like, up air below him. Oh, no kidding. And it doesn't trade? No. Oh, wow. We're running something new. And dash attack, he misses it. Gets that. Nice. It's got to be so strange playing this game where you're having to be cognizant of, like, a Nana. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious where, like, Ice Climber yeah. players' brains go when playing they play Playing is definitely, like, a special, like, matchup just because you have to be so, like, like you said, cognizant of where Nana is, what she's doing. Mm -hmm. and, and how your like, opponent wants to punish her, too. Yeah. It's like a whole extra aspect of the game. And then she's like, what? She acts like six frames after you or something like that. So you have. I don't know exactly, but that sounds that sounds correct. Yeah, and then you know, so you have you have the ability of just like setting up a second character. Yeah. It's pretty wild. No. Yeah. They're both looking really good this game, but Asphat's definitely just getting the hits he needs with these lasers, yeah. and also calling out Chu's movement options really well. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Bobby. Ooh. Oh, nice. That was great. Because usually Nana will just grab ledge. Yeah. It was really, really smart to actually go for the uh, jab there yeah. uh, so we could get yeah, the second Yeah, you can like, throw out jab, down tilt, forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Anything there that will really just catch Nana's grab, and then yeah. you can just shine her after. Because she's not going to do anything good to get the ledge. She's not going to like she's gonna, fall, she's snap gonna double the ledge. Jump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something actually really cool you can do in this matchup is uh, I saw uh, Lucky practicing it once. Where it was a you wave shine, running shine them, yep. and then down tilt you can actually like separate them after that with another shine. Mm. So you running you running shine down tilt shine. What yeah. is it? Okay. Oh, oh. See, that's you, rough. You gotta just believe in them. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Like for anybody who's watching this you... that's struggling, <laughs> like I do want to say that for anybody who's watching this that's struggling with like ledge dashes or just like I don't feel comfortable doing them. Take the example of these two extremely good players who've been playing this game for an incredible amount of time missing these ledge asses and they're still going for them. You just literally need to believe that you're going to hit them and accept that you're not going to hit all of them. Yeah, That's so my words of encouragement to, <laughs> to the stream you know, monsters. I completely understand. Sometimes you're just not going to hit them. Like, no matter how much you practice, sometimes it's going to be in the moment. You're yeah. going to miss them. Yeah. Ooh. But uh, s -Fat's super just like solid with his edge guard right now. Oh. But Shudak oh. getting his one grab. Whoa. That's an interesting setup there. Oh my god. And I like the projectile, I think. He goes for the ice skull. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, gets the jab that was good, though. That, the dash attack would have been a really good yeah. setup. Um, had almost had that. That was actually almost a crazy punch. That could have, yeah. Like, you get a dash attack on Fox at, like, what, 59, I think he was at? That's going to set up for a whole bunch yeah. of opportunities. Yeah, but SFAT, or, uh, SFAT up 2 0. Yeah. This could be a 3 0. I mean, again, SFAT's, like, playing really he's pretty well against Chu's movement. Yeah. He's pretty comfortable in this matchup, it seems like. Oh, yeah. I mean, look like, at that. He's just like, yeah. that's, that's fine. You're going to shield. I don't worry. I don't mind about that at all. And yeah, like, trying to kill Nana. She's dead. No up yeah. out. Shu definitely could have up out of shield, though. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, like, S-Fat is honestly just, like, we know this. He, like, he's a super, like, solid fundamental fox. Like, yeah. he doesn't do go for anything, like, too crazy. And I think that's, like, something that, like, really helps him in this matchup. Is like, he kind of just plays it like it is. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't want to, like, he doesn't, like, he takes the hits as he gets them. You know, he doesn't go for, like, these crazy nares on his shield or something. Yeah. Because, like, we have not seen... S Fat really get wobbled that much. Yeah, he. I mean, he basically is completely avoiding shield whenever he sees two doing it. Yeah. Um, or he's very, very like deliberate on what he's doing when he's exactly. approaching shield. I know he's just super solid at like not getting wobbled. Oh, and, and, and I say devil. is that? Yeah. Oh my God! Come take this curse. Let's go. Come take curse. Come take curse. <laughs> 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 oh, boy, what a game! What a game we play. Somewhere, somewhere uh, Juggle Guy's watching that and just like shaking his head. <laughs> He's a Juggle Guy. He's like, God, why didn't SoCal ban it? Right. What's wrong with these people? Oh. I, you really don't expect that Ice Climbers can do like so much out of that back air, but the fact that it auto cancels is actually really great. Oh! Ooh. Catches the side. With that yeah. Ball. He couldn't Grab really get a punish off that, though, with the up yeah. east height that S Fat had. Yeah, he was like close enough to where he just grabbed ledge after, unfortunately. Yeah. He was he super smart in the moment. Yeah, I was. But. I love that too, where you, you double jump and just uh, air dodge Wait. down into the stage. Yeah, so you just don't go anywhere really. Yeah. Just like keep the lip of the stage for yourself and then. And grab sledge finally. <laughs> Did he do it? Doing it. Yeah, I tried to do it. I think he tried Perfect. to do it, but he didn't get it. I was, yeah. thinking, I was thinking if he did the Doriki thing. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, unfortunately, we're not watching Moki anymore. I know, I know. Anytime I see somebody jump at a ledge now, I'm like keeping an eye through it. Yeah, is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? 
Ooh. Ooh. Risky. Yep. And I actually went for the dare on shield. Yeah. You have to be super confident in your tech skill for that. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do it too, like if you're going to attack an ice climber shield, like dare's what you want. Yeah. Um, 100%. But you have to sure. be ready to L cancel it, which is like trickier when you have two shields to deal with. Yeah. Two shields and especially when they're light shielding. Yep. Yep. Right, but Chu cleans up the stock. He's got only Sopo though. Doesn't yeah. go for an up air. I like how s is just like, instead of going for the up air, he's just like kind of sitting waiting below. Yeah, I mean, look at, he's, he gets so much more off of just yeah. like chilling underneath him, waiting to see if he can up tilt him. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then just gets Perfect the punish there. right there. Yeah. That's something Fox is actually super good on FD, is like, if he gets a grab, like on Marth, on Peach, on anyone who like really like kind of like stays above him for a while. Yeah. Like, so he can kind of just, ignoring shields. Yeah, he can kind of just follow them, on, stay under them, like up tilt or back air. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's honestly like just kind of hanging tight underneath somebody and waiting to up tilt them is, yeah. like, as Fox, one of the best things you can do in a lot of situations, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, as Fat furiously chewing his gum. <laughs> just centering himself on it, you know? Like he said in his tweet, he what? came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and he's all out of gum, but I think someone gave him gum. Yeah, so he's not here to kick ass anymore. He's actually <laughs> just here to chew gum. <laughs> I can feel it. I understand that. Yeah. Zanadette. Someone sabotaged yeah. Asphat by giving him gum. I don't know, man. It looks like he's about to take this. Yeah, it does. Unless it we see a, a classic Sopo from a shoot at. Dude, those down tilts are also reminding me of what Moki was doing. Charged. Great job by Asphat. Yeah. Holy moly. Uh, like, especially that last stock, he just yeah. made it so hard. Like,